Okay, here I was just playing around, uh, trying to get ready for a zombie sketch. So I'm just going to go in, and I'm going to try and do like a 20-30 minute sketch. Um, bring something out. Something fun. Uh, it's going to be, of course, a zombie. Um, so I think right now I'm just kind of figuring a, a form. And... What the zombie's doing. So right now he's... I'm figuring he's going to be intimidating. By showing some teeth and... All his bloody mouth. Trying to have some fun with the glistening forehead. Some skin tones up here. What I like about these mostly is that they're uh, they're fun, uh, you know, quick texturing exercises. And it's just fun to paint. And I'll start layering in a few uh, quick uh, passes just to kind of bring all the tones together. And a little noise layer. 
it also helps with kind of a, a little bit of a, a texturing feel. And I put it in an overlay. I like to do motion blur. Um, I feel like it kind of gets a nice uh, lighting direction going. And uh, I use motion blur and Gaussian blur most of the time. And when I when I have a, a motion blur, noise it up, and then I just Gaussian blur it to like what I want, what I don't want. And then uh, I'll merge everything and kind of do a motion blur just to kind of smooth out everything. And then I'll level it out. And I'll play with the color balances. Cool thing is you can always play with your lighting and kind of get uh, from you know lighting from the back side. I like the little cool lighting coming from the back of his head. That's that's fun for me right there. So I'll pick off that blue. Kind of use that a little bit. And then usually with just the texturing, like I can use a smaller brush and just kind of be a little wild about it. Not really get too um, like, oh, this is out of place, this is out of place. And I'll go to like a medium opacity just because you're going to blur it anyway. Just because you're, you're, you're trying to build up cracks and levels of cracks. And, and the thing is, is like you're, you know, you're trying to get better at just texturing and uh, um, was it, a lot of times just to get... I guess a feel of realism with stuff like cracks and, and skin tones is, is I guess you just kind of have to be like a little sporadic about it. You can't really feel like that pattern. Um, and it just happens um, subconsciously when you just kind of put too much thought into like, oh, this is where the cracks go. This is where the cracks go. This is where he's going to have wrinkles. and So a lot of times you just kind of run over it and At the same time, you could do a little bit of like uh, shading and different values, along with being just like cracks. And the fun part is like the very last ten minutes, you know, or the last five minutes of just taking your piece and just going, okay, I want to put this there, I want to put that there, and you know, anything. You can always just stop and really slow down and, and stare at it and go like, what can I do now? And I'll put a little motion blur just to kind of test that out first and just kind of see Okay, 
so I'm going to probably go for some kind of spot just to take the eye. And so I'll pick off colors from the, from the area. Maybe use not too small of a brush. Okay, so I'm going to wrap this little part, and in the next 15 minutes, um, I'll uh, definitely 